you are the timeless child. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk five... You always behaved like you were different, like you were, like you were special. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. But I've considered it. For some time now, I've been defending The Timeless Child and Series 12 as a whole of Doctor Who. And some opinions I have still stand up, but others have crumbled tragically. Series 12 is alright. It's really not that bad in my opinion. I didn't love it at all, but I enjoyed a fair bit of it and was surprised it was decent because Series 11 was such a drag. Like, Series 11 was a chore to watch for me. Um, I enjoyed the first episode and I enjoyed Kablam. And that is basically it for me at Series 11. So Series 12 was miles better. And um, Revolution of the Daleks was also decent for me, while my opinions definitely have changed since my review. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and today we have my review of Revolution of the Daleks, the first episode of Doctor Who in 2021. <laughs> Still, it wasn't bad, and I had a decent time with it, which I didn't expect because Series 11 really fucked it for me. I did not enjoy it at all, really. And from the moment The Timeless Children aired, for me, it was never a Rise of Skywalker mo moment. It still isn't entirely, but that will depend on what happens in Series 13 and in the future, because it very much could become that. When when was the episode aired? I don't know. What day is it today? It's, it's boiling on the 18th of the 7th. When did... 1st of March. It's been a while. It's been a little while. And yeah, I, as I said, I've been defending it for quite a bit and I don't think I can in the same way. So I wanted to talk about it again today. If you love the reveal and the change in canon, that's fine. Because I did. I did love it. But I think I was in denial. Uh, I think we've all been there with a the franchise we love where we just want it to be so good. And you can't bear it to be bad. And after series 11 as well, it, this was something else to me. Because, I mean, I was surprised to be enjoying the show again. Don't get me wrong, series 12 doesn't hold a candle to any of Russell T. Davis's series. And, and it doesn't really to a lot of the Moffat era too. But on the whole, I thought series 12 was okay. And I liked it. So we got to the end of the series and there was so much speculation, of course. Captain Jack had returned uh, for a brief cameo and... and there was an overarching plot, it was very exciting. The Master was back, played fucking amazingly by Sasha Dewan. I love him as the Master. I just didn't want to end on another Doctor Who low. So I watched it and the episode really wasn't bad, you know, as an episode, in my opinion. I still don't overly... It's difficult to describe. I don't absolutely hate it, but... There were lots of aspects that I like about the Thomas Child idea. Um, conceptually, it's great, but it downright ruins some of the previous storylines. The Time of the Doctor is a glaring one for me because we actually see the Time Lords give him another regeneration cycle. I mean, so why, how was he dying? And why do they have to give him more? Like, what is that? It just doesn't make any sense. And the whole Series 6 arc just is, doesn't stand up now with the Doctor's death. And it also removes any stakes for the Doctor in the future. The only thing you're going to care about is if she loses a companion. Like like the way I, I was so upset when Rose left. Not just because I cared about Rose, but because we knew how that would make the Doctor feel. So yeah, I mean, the Doctor's a god now, okay. After it airs, okay. I'm upset, very upset, but next year series 13 you can explain it somehow maybe the time loss took and reset the doctor whilst erasing her memories wait but she must have been reset back to a child each time and she must have run away each time and got a phone box each time okay no chip though you've you've really done a number on yourself here you always behaved like you were different like you were like you were special and you were Oh. No, no, please. So now you're implying this isn't the Doctor. By any analysis, evil should always win. 
good is not a practical survival strategy. So why does good prevail? What keeps the balance between good and evil in this appalling universe? Is this just a bloke? A bloke? Yeah. Perhaps it's just some bloke wandering around, putting everything right when it goes wrong. Well, that would be a nice story, wouldn't it? That would be the best. But the real world is not a fairy tale. You dash around the universe trying to figure out what's holding it all together, and you really, really don't know. You know me in the future. Do I ever understand? No. I really don't think you do. I am not a hero. I'm definitely not a president. And no, I'm not an officer. Do you know what I am? I am an idiot with a box and a screwdriver. Just passing through, helping out, learning. The real reasons are because she was born special. Immediately after birth, she's always been special and because she's a god. She's not passing through, she's helping out because that's what she was born to do. She was born to be different and special. So now, a lot of the past doesn't make sense and you've obliterated the actual character herself. You've ruined who the Doctor is. Well, at least it opens up loads of possibilities. Do you know what you are? You're a fucking human dartboard. Yep. But that doesn't make the other changes I mentioned okay. It doesn't take them away. Also, this is the whole reason the Master destroyed and wiped out Gallifrey and the rest of the Time Lords. Come on. So, now, the only option is retcon. The biggest retcon in Doctor Who history. Look, I'm sure Chibnall didn't take over the show after Moffat planning to just ruin the canon and divide fans so heavily. I mean, if that was his intention, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sure you're a lovely bloke, but you, you, you can't you can't be in charge of this show here if the, if that's the mindset you have. Well, I suppose one more lifetime won't kill anyone, well, except me. To me, it just feels like a first draft idea, but wasn't thought through in any way, and it was just unnecessary as well. You don't need canon altering things to make good talk to who the idea of making the time Lords even more horrific than before because we know they're kind of antagonists and having the master discover something that drove him to destroy his own race again is a great idea the timeless child is a great idea like sure sure have like a face off before 13 regenerates with her against this god who had turned evil after all the torture she'd been put through on Gallifrey as a child. Get get Jack back in to help out. To me, <laughs> at least, that sounds fun and that and exciting. And that was literally just off the top of my head while writing the script for this video. But I guess my point with it is that's one direction and it might not be a good one, but that's one direction they could have gone in that would have been better than what they did go with. And there are so many others that could have been great. And I'm not going to know how to feel until Series 13 comes out. And I'm guessing we'll get a trailer at Comic Con. Or at least something. When it came down to the actual choice to who it is, they just probably made the worst one. And that has major, major consequences for the show. Future and past. And for the fans, clearly, you, you've seen how many fans are outraged. I mean, maybe Chibnall doesn't read reviews. Fair enough, I guess, but someone at the BBC is going to know. Someone on the crew is going to know and going to relate to Chibnall. So I, I refuse to believe he's unaware. He just hasn't commented on it, to my knowledge. And like I said, I was in denial for like the past year about this episode and reveal. But I think that's finally broken down. I'm still going to watch it the show it really felt like an idea rough idea and they just didn't think it through which is annoying because it could be great i hope chibnall is aware uh, and he tackles it in a good way uh and i just hope everyone can enjoy doctor who again i mean you know it's getting to a star wars point after after last year shit's annoying but ah, good god it's hideous but beautiful in an ugly way but mostly hideous Ugh.